lips. Okay, I like color. I'm not a, I'm a, I'm not a nude lip girl. I like color. I like glitter. So let's try something I haven't tried yet. I got this free from my honest opinion. I have to say that that's legality. But I really wanted one of these anyway. I was I've been looking to get a Dior lipstick, so This is the Velvet formula, which is what I was interested in, fortunately. I was looking more for the Nan 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 color, but I'll take dark. Like I said, I like color. Hmm. There's an undertone of what I would call smells like lipstick, like an old fashioned lipstick, a, almost a waxy smell. But there is a perfume over that. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm not going to say that's a bad thing because good lipsticks have that smell. I'll insert a picture of, of a close-up of this lipstick. Why is it so hard to use a lipstick for the first time? And it looks so pretty. <laughs> I mean... Hmm. Okay, okay, let's do this. It's not wanting to... grab onto my lips. And I don't understand why these velvet lipsticks are like that. Because I used an Anastasia Beverly Hill one and it did the same thing. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make faces. But in spots there, I think they're like dry patches. And the lipstick just will not cover it. I mean, it it just doesn't like my lips there. Um, but otherwise, otherwise it's pretty. Let's see what else we can do with here. Okay, let's keep let's keep going with this. I wasn't sure how I was gonna like this color because it's kind of a a brown. But I mean, like I said, I like color, and this is definitely color. It's very creamy. And it starts, it starts to, um, as it, as it gets onto your lips, it's like the heat of your lips starts to melt it a little bit, and it starts to go on even better. Oh, that, that is pretty. That is really pretty. Yeah. <laughs> that is pretty. It's still having a little bit of an issue with my dry skin, but that is pretty. 
I'm gonna just let it dry down and see what happens because once it warmed up and started going on my lips better, it feels better, it feels more moisturizing. It looks a little patchy, but I think the problem is, is I have dry patches on my skin and it doesn't want to grip onto it, but otherwise it is, it is nice. I do really like the color. It's a brown, but there's a touch of red in it. I really like this lipstick. <laughs> so I also have been trying out another product that was sent. Um, Suave Natural Ex Suave Natural Inspired Sulfate Free Collection. They sent me the um, repair shampoo. So far, I don't really have any complaints about it. It it's supposed to be avocado, but it may have avocado in it, but the smell is actually a lime. And it's it's not my favorite scent, but other than that, I don't have any complaints about what it's done to my hair. It works really well. I I no longer use uh, uh, shampoos with sulfates in it for the most part because uh, I had a bad reaction one time and my scalp just got covered in in crust and sores and that was it for me and sulfates. Sulfates aren't horrible. I mean if you use them sparingly they will strip your hair of oil. If your hair is really really oily it needs to be really deep clean but you don't always have to use that strong of a shampoo. As for naturally inspired I mean they're saying it's natural uh, derived and let's see if I have a thing in here. I have, n I have no problem with them going more natural. You just have to remember that when they say natural they mean products that are come out of nature and the thing is there are a lot of products that come out of straight out of nature that will kill you. So that's a little misleading. Otherwise I mean I get what they're trying to say. I know what they're trying to say. They're trying to say it's safer, healthier, um, you know, more natural. You're not putting some weird uh, uh, muted stuff in your hair. You're using mostly, you know, natural ingredients. I get it. But just remember that arsenic is a natural ingredient. Uh, what's that other stuff? Um, do, 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 do. Asbestos. Asbestos is right out of nature. If it lands in your um, your makeup, which it has had ended up in makeup before by accident, it's a bad thing. So if something says all natural, it still doesn't mean it's safe. Look at the ingredients, research them. Don't just completely believe that something is safe because it's all natural. Do I have to really say that? But, yeah. And my hair is pretty uh, frizzy, curly naturally, and I let it dry, wound up like like that, and after I do that, it, it has a lot of body and curl. And that was my intention when I did it. Oh, okay, that, that, that got crazier than I expected. <laughs> Where's the head man? I think I need it again. Like, subscribe, comment to your heart's desire, and thank you for watching. Bye. 
Okay, so now I don't have anywhere to go. This is for you, YouTube. Oh dear, my nails. My nails. Please ignore my terrible nails. I'm sorry.